Good morning. It's Thursday. It's time for a Thursday tip. Mm -hmm. And we have a great one for you today. We are so excited about this tip. So you know how we're always talking about books and we're showing you on our phone or on our Kindles. We're like, so I checked this out at the public library and you're like, thanks for nothing. I don't have a card. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You can now have a free public library e-card. Yes. It does not require crazy showing up in person, parent signatures, anything. Today we're going to tell you how you can get a public library e-card for free yes. and then you can read all the great books we talk about all the time and say, hey, they're at the public library. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's super awesome. This is brand new mm -hmm. for all students in Hamblin County, ages 13 and up. All you have to do is fill out a form online. Okay, you can access this form on the library page on the school website. Um, we'll be putting a link out in Schoology as well today. And you can also do it on your phone if you want to just Google Morristown East, go to the library page, click on that link. Okay, you can fill it out on your phone. Yes. Public Library eCard sign up. Um, we also have it available in Spanish. Spanish okay, yes. so we have an English version of the form so, and a Spanish yeah, version of the you. form. Over to this. Yep. It's really easy. Should take you about, you know, a minute or so to fill out right. the form. But. But <laughs> it's going to take more than a minute for you to get the card. So mm -hmm. be patient because this is a brand new thing. Yes. Um, but it's not an instant process. Once you fill out the form, the public library will begin creating your e-card. Mm -hmm. And they will contact you with your login information. Okay? Yes. So you're going to need to put in an email. Mm -hmm. You can use your personal email if that's the one that you access the most. Yes. So you definitely don't have to use your school email to get this, but do know that you will not get an automated response. Right. So don't flip over to your email and say, hey, it didn't work. Well, it, it could still be working, but there's a person at the public library, or not if you do it after hours, right. who is going to have to work on that for you. Yes. So Human beings are involved. Process. Yeah, so be patient. Um, but through these accounts, you will be able to access all kinds of cool stuff. Yes. Yes. We mentioned the ebooks. Mm -hmm. We mentioned the audiobooks right. that you can read or listen to on your phone, your tablet, your Kindle, your computer. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to have any special apps to do this with. No. You can download extra apps for convenience. We'll be going into specific resources you have access to in these videos over the next couple of weeks. Okay. Some of you may say, so what? Why do I need this? I don't really like to read. Mm. Um, books are gross. You books know, gross. whatever. You know, all these hurtful things that you say to us right? in the library sometimes when you're not super <laughs> excited about reading because you haven't found your thing yes. yet. Um, this is just another avenue for you to find your thing. It's right. convenient, it's free, it is private. One thing I've been making sure to stress to everybody I've talked mm -hmm. this about, ebooks and audiobooks, if it's on your phone, there's no cover right, right here advertising what it is that you're reading or listening to. Yeah. If you're looking at something on your phone, who's to know you're not scrolling on Facebook? Who's to know you're not reading an article on Bustle or whatever you right. guys read stuff on um if you've got your earbuds in who's to know you're not listening to music but you can be doing you know literally whatever you right. want including reading some awesome books or listening to some awesome books right. that you didn't even know existed yes okay? and the public library also has magazines online mm -hmm. so if you like magazines but the exorbitant price at the checkout stand alarms you as much as it alarms us you can read some of those online. Mm -hmm. There's also a small video collection mm -hmm. on the Public Library Online, both in English and in Spanish. So mm -hmm. that's something else. Just another free resource. We call it free. It's paid for with tax dollars. So you should use it. Yes. Yes, we're paying for it anyway. Exactly. Just, you don't have to you know, pay subscription fees or per book fees or anything like that. It's free to sign up. It's free to access. It already exists. Um, they have a larger collection than we do, and things yeah. can come in faster yes. than we can get them in your hands. And Tennessee has one of the best ebook and audiobook collections around. Like, people who leave the state of Tennessee are sad when they don't have a Tennessee Library card anymore mm -hmm. yes. because it is that good. Yes, it is really awesome. Um, if you have any trouble signing up for the card, 
let us know. Mm -hmm. um, and again, once we get some people signed up, we're going to be helping them individually if needed. Mm -hmm. Come and see us. We'll walk you through Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Um, watch our video over the next couple of weeks. We'll be going, we'll talk about ebooks more in depth, audiobooks in depth. We'll talk about this new um, RB digital thing that they have, which is magazines and movies and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, tune Peg in. in there. We'll be back. Yes. But now, just fill out the form. Yeah. Just get started. Yeah. Yes. Sign up. And we'll see you uh, next time with some more tips.